So welcome to the Fully Alive Qigong class. Uh, this is the first class for the focusing energy for stability and growth and also the senior metamorphosis, um, how to develop tremendous energy. So this week we're going to look at what we've been teaching and practicing and uh, why we're teaching these particular methods and also review some of the stuff that we've been doing in class and also how you can apply it to daily life. So I just want to remind you of why it is that we're uh, practicing these Qigong lessons in terms of the skills in using energy. And really it's to help you in developing and managing and using your energy more skillfully and also learn how to apply that to your everyday life so you can get a better um, and more consistent benefits from your practice. So these um, the individual courses that we've been doing in London work do work really well together but they also work well as their their own courses and um, if you um, wanted to develop so one of the things to look at is if you wanted to develop a, a tremendous amount of energy from the practice of the senior metamorphosis it's a really good idea to um, already have an understanding and also a level of skill on how to generate and regulate your energy flow. Um, it's also useful to be able to stay grounded when you're developing lots of energy or when your energy increases. So one of the foundation practices uh, that helps stay grounded is entering a tubing state of mind and enjoying stillness, quietness and stability. And another one is the Dan Tien breathing. These are both of the skills that we've been using um, in this first course. And it's also um, useful when practicing your sinew metamorphosis to develop the focus mind. And the method we've chosen for focus mind and being able to focus energy is the one finger shooting Zen. And that's taken from the one finger shooting Zen set. Uh, that we practice in Shaolin Kung Fu, one of the fundamental practices of the Shaolin Temple as was passed down through our teacher. So if you're doing the Focusing Energy for Stability and Growth course for the first time, it's going to help you um, in your continuing development and use of energy skills. Um, so as a result of doing this course, you're going to be able to maintain your focus for longer without it being a strain or drain on your energy. You're going to be able to remain calm uh, much easier in stressful situations or in times of anxiety. Um, also, it's going to help develop energy more efficiently from the Dantian training that we'll be doing, the Dantian breathing. And also having an increased resistance to being able to, when you're knocked off your centre in life and being able to return back to uh, calmness and stability uh, more effortlessly and ably. So this course is going to cover quite a lot of stuff for you uh, that's going to be useful in everyday life. Also the course is going to help you um, and your systems um, be better prepared for developing tremendous energy that you get from the Sydney Metamorphosis training. So if you're learning the 12 Sydney Metamorphosis exercises for the first time, and you've already done the other course before, you're still going to get a huge benefit from doing the focusing energy for stability and growth course again. And personally, when um, I'm teaching these courses and, and writing these courses with Barry, uh, we get a huge amount, amount out of um, teaching and, and also practicing this stuff over and over again. Whenever we go away on the foundation courses with our teacher, it doesn't matter how many times we've done them, we get a massive amount out of that, always learning something new. So um, highly recommended um, redoing this course, even if you've done it before. So let's um, review what we did at class last night. So first we reminded ourselves of what the courses are, and this is always a good idea because it helps us realize um, why it is that we're practicing what we do and also helps us understand better what we're likely to get out of it um, so you don't waste your time in training. Uh, also, uh, we reminded ourselves of what we already know in terms of Qigong skills like 
enter into a tuned state of mind, smiling from the heart, generating an energy flow with lifting the sky, allowing and enjoying energy flow, coming to stillness and enjoying stillness, uh, the facial massage that we do, and then walking around the room to integrate and spread the energy that you've generated. Uh, we then use just three breaths to enter a Qigong state of mind. First breath into relaxing at the physical level, second breath relaxing at the emotional level, and the third breath relaxing at the mental level. Uh, this helped us realize the simplicity of entering a Qigong state of mind, and also that you don't have to go too deep in your own practice in order to get the benefits out of Qigong. Uh, next, we reviewed the One Finger Zen, um, how to practice it and the benefits that you get from focusing the energy and mind. Uh, we looked at the form of the One Finger Zen, the uh, difference between relaxation and unnecessary tension in One Finger Shooting Zen, and that's going to help you in your other practices as well. Um, we then learned and reviewed the first simple steps of Dantian breathing, uh, gently pressing the abdomen um, as the breath come out and then allowing the abdomen to release as the breath comes in. And this was done more at the physical and breath level um, than the energy mind level so that we can uh, progress gently um, and safely. Uh, then we had to look at the city metamorphosis exercise flicking fingers this is the first exercise of the 12 sinew metamorphosis exercises. Uh, we performed it uh, 49 times, first of all. This was how it was taught at the Shaolin Temple. Uh, done at the physical level, we did, uh, this was practice. And then we did it nine times relaxed and then compared what it was like. Uh, as we go over the, uh, the weeks of training, we get a little bit more deeper into the training as well as doing the other 11 exercises. Um, so how to practice and use what you've learned at class. Now first of all the three relaxed breaths to let go of tension. So this week um, practicing simply entering a Qigong state of mind in just three breaths. See if you can use this consciously um, during this next week as well and um, when required or um, especially um, in stressful situations or when um, you want to get the benefit of uh, being relaxed. Make this really simple, really easy and you get more used to being able to stay relaxed and being able to enter a relaxed state at will. Um, now you won't need to close your eyes for this like we do for a lot of cheeky exercises. You can do this just by gently opening the mouth and then focusing on the, the breath. So you can use this from whenever you like and wherever you like to get into a more relaxed physical, emotional and mental state. Then um, regulating your energy flow for your personal needs. So when you first start learning Qigong, it's best just to generate an energy flow, let that energy flow however it does and then come back to stillness. And then when you get more skillful at energy flow and generating and managing energy and you realize that you're able to regulate your energy flow uh, more easily according to the needs of this situation. Now sometimes it's better to um, for energy to flow gently uh, and for you to be more gentle in this situation and other situations and needs call for a greater flow of energy or action and then through um, improvement of uh, awareness and energy skills you're going to be better equipped in using energy appropriately for the given situation. Um, one of the ways to think about this is like the gentle sprinkle required to water a flower, very different to the more forceful energy that you need in order to wash your patio down. So this course is going to really help you with getting more skillful at that. Focusing the energy for a clearer mind and relaxed mental state. So one of the major benefits of practicing Qigong is developing a clearer mind and being able to stay focused for longer and have the energy to do that as well. So with all the distractions that we've got around us, like social media, 
television, advertising, travel, emails, you know, whatever's going on for you, it can be a real challenge to stay focused on the, the one thing that we're doing at that time. So with one finger shooting Zen or one finger Zen, it helps us develop a sharp, relaxed and focused mind. And if you practice this every day over the um, next week, so you can test this out for us, see you at class again, you can see how things are changed for you. Uh, one finger Zen, by the way, is, um, is part of my daily practice. It was part of my Sifu's daily practice. Uh, fantastic exercise for uh, developing a, a relaxed and focused mind. Um, so you're going to get a huge amount out of doing this. De definitely worth practicing this one. Um, you're going to be much more relaxed than you were before and be able to stay focused for much more. And I know for some of you, uh, that's something that you've uh, emailed me with that you really want for your um, everyday life anyway, is to be able to stay relaxed more um, for longer times and be focused rather than here, there and everywhere and being distracted. So flicking fingers, flicking fingers for an instant energy boost. And, and I absolutely love this exercise because it's, it is a really simple exercise. So if you like a lot of people suffer from energy dips, uh, dips during your day, not energy drips, but energy dips during your day, then try flicking fingers to get an instant energy boost. And you, you, I think you, if you're gonna do this one and you get better at it, you're gonna be amazed at how much energy um, that you get out of this exercise. The other things that I love about this one is you can do it sitting down, you can do it standing up, and it can be a nice little discreet, three little flicks of the fingers, and you've got your much needed energy boost. So that's what we um, covered in the hours class. Um, it absolutely flew by, and I'm not surprised because we did actually pack quite a lot of things in, um, or often the way on the first class because we're reviewing a lot of the skills that we've done before and how to um, uh, apply those really simply. Uh, but if you've got any questions about your practice or you want to know how to apply it to your daily living or things that you're not sure about, please do get in touch. Email me at tim at fullyalive.co. No, no UK or .com on the end. So that's tim at fullyalive.co. And in the meantime, enjoy your training. <laughs>